Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic, and how can you play Spider's Web? Find out. Hi, I'm Mike from Scoutadelic, and this year, spice up your scouting by simply subscribing to the channel. It's free to do so, you get access to all our games, activities, all our back catalog, we've been earlier a thousand videos, so go on, click subscribe and help us out. I wanna hit 10,000 subscribers this year, so you're helping me do so. Today I'm going to teach you a really cool game which is called Spiderweb. So you need a very long bit of rope. What you're going to do is you're going to tie a scout to that rope via a bowline. So, if you don't know how to do a bowline, well, I'm sure I've done a video on it or something. So there we are, so that's a bowline. So the scout who is on in the rope with the bowline is the spider. And what you want to do is you want to have like a big long length. Now, you can either tie the other end to say like a middle post or alternatively if you've got something high up in your hall, you could obviously tie it there. For example, a tree, if you've got a lone tree in the middle of like a, a nice area, then the same applies there, tie it to the tree. Um, or alternatively, if you don't have anything that you can obviously put that to, have it with like a leader standing in the middle of the area. And then you want to uh, mark off a grid, a circle, all the way around the scout. So a bit like that. So your middle post, where the rope is, or whether it's a leader standing, is the middle. And then as far as the scout with the bowline is, you want to draw around a large circle. Now inside the circle is all the other scouts and their flies. And you're guessing the idea here now is the scout that is the spider can't leave the circle, neither can the flies. And so the scout is basically tigging them. And if they tig them, then they get out. And also if the rope actually touches one of the scouts who are the flies, then they're also trapped and they're out as well. So not only is the spider trying to catch them, but also the rope can catch them out as well. The spider has two ways of catching them, either by grabbing them or tigging them, and also using the rope to their advantage. In a spider's world, they get eaten, but they go out of the circle and they're out for the game, and the rest of them have got to obviously stay in that circle and go from there, and it all boils down to the last person. The last person becomes not only, thank thankfully, not lunch, but becomes the spider for the next game, and then everyone's back in again. Nice, the circle's already drawn out, and boom, off you go. A simple thing, if any of the flies do go out of the circle, which I know there's a few of them that are gonna, then they're disqualified, they're out, they're eaten, they've gone, they've, they've, I don't know, whatever flies do and they disappear. <laughs> But yeah, it's a really fun game, really cool, easy. All you need is a rope and something to hold the scout to and a nice circle. And there we are, boom, done, simple. There we are, really cool game that you can do. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it around. Otherwise, I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Bye.